friends, Namaskar. I'm Dr. Rohit Shetty. I represent Konya Refractive Clinic and Keratokonus Speciality Clinics at Narayana Netralaya. Through this medium, I would like to discuss a very important disease of a modern era called Keratokonus. Keratokonus is the way your cornea, which is your black of your eye, tries to reshape and becomes more bulge. It's important all of you are aware of this disease because it comes mostly in young and affects your quality of life and quality of vision. We at Narayan Netralaya have been one of the center of excellence in keratoconus management in the world. Over the last 20 years, we have not only treated thousands of people for keratoconus, also been involved in many cutting edge research work on keratoconus. So through this medium, again would like to take you into the dimension of this disease and all the treatment options it offers to you. First, let me start with this question. People always ask, what is keratoconus? Greek word of kerato is your cornea. Conus means it's cone shaped. That means your cornea, which is like a C shaped, suddenly assumes slowly over time of a shape of a C or a cone. So when you have a cone shaped cornea, your vision completely gets distorted. This is usually seen between age group of 10 to around 40 years, progressive in nature. That means if this is your cornea, how it looks, slowly it becomes like this and then it starts completely getting distorted. When you get distorted, you start seeing things completely in a regular fashion. It becomes quite hazy, uh, your vision drops, quality of life drops, night vision becomes impossible to drive. So first question people ask is why did I get it? There are many many reasons why you would have got it, could be genetic, environmental, lot of near work with you know eye being dry. But the most important thing is this. I repeat this, this, that means people have a habit of doing this all the time. Why they do it? Because it rubs, it itches, or sometimes without any reason, they just fiddle with it. Eye rubbing is one of the most common cause of keratoconus. The second important cause is the way you sleep. Some people have a tendency of sleeping like this. Somebody has a tendency of putting the hand and sleeping like this on one side or some pressure. When you induce pressure to the eyes, the cornea slowly starts growing. So what are the treatment options? It starts off with the contact lenses. It starts off with the surgeries. Now question is, why is it important that I need to diagnose it? It's important because most of the time people don't come at the early stage. They come at a later stage. Once it comes at a later stage, the cornea is already irregularly shaped. Once you have an irregular shape of the cornea, it ends up being highly distorted. So how is it diagnosed? When you have a high cylindrical power, in your refractive glass prescription, you have two components. You have a glass which is called spear and a cylinder. A lot of you don't have too much of cylinders. When you have a high cylindrical power, then you need to tell your optician or a doctor that can I get it tested for keratoconus. If they say most of the time they say yes, they may send you to a place or they may have it in their own place. We do a simple test which takes around three and a half minutes called topography, which tells you whether you have keratoconus or not. If you're diagnosed with keratoconus, what else? Is this the end of your cornea? Answer is no. The chance of progression is only 40% and even that reduces to around 10% if you stop doing this. So you have to then meet the specialist. That's what we do in our center. We are one of the world's top 10 institutes for this keratoconus. We're very proud of it because last 20 years we have done a lot of advanced research ranging from, uh, from uh, genetics the most advanced diagnostics. So what we do and we see them, 
with the grade of keratoconus is to decide whether we do something immediately or we wait for six months or year. In these six months or year, we give you some drops and medications which helps to build the collagen. So what is real keratoconus picture? Your cornea is tightly wound like this. It's like tight wound collagen mesh. Imagine this mesh starts becoming weaker and then it becomes weaker. This mesh becomes completely loose and that's when it bulges out. So what do we do? There are procedures called collagen cross-linking where we use a riboflavin, which is your vitamin drops. It's a vitamin drops. You keep putting the drops on the eye for 30 minutes. Once the riboflavin drops goes totally into your cornea, then you use a UV light, UV light which is safe for the body as well as the eye for 10 to 12 minutes. And then what happens is it creates a reaction where the loose collagen gets tightened like this. So what happens after that? Does my vision improve? In a lot of our patients, we also do a little bit of laser to correct the irregularity and then do the cross-linking. In that, it improves. And many times, it will not go back to zero, but it will definitely improve your quality of vision. When I say quality, the scatter, light format, all that disappears. So how much time does it take for me to take off from work? Maximum a week. Can we do both eyes? No. We give at least two weeks time between the eyes. Will it last forever? I started doing cross in 2007. So we have done around more than 15,000 odd cross linkings. We have only retreated only three or four of them. That means you can calculate the percentage of 15,000 versus four or five of them. So chance of it coming back is very rare. What if it completely fails? Then we need to transplant the cornea and put a new cornea. Now we don't need to take the whole cornea out. We have to transplant only part of it. And when you do that, the stability of your cornea is very good. And then your new cornea will get you new, new vision. So keratoconus is a treatable disease. Uh, we at Narayan are one of the proud largest center of keratoconus in the world. From genetic to diagnostics to all the modern treatment, we can offer you the best. So most important thing at this point of time, I would say is diagnose early, stop eye rubbing. Most of the time we do medical line of management. Every keratoconus patient doesn't need surgery. If it needs surgery, it's not a very complex one. We can try to correct you as much and as much better as possible as you were many years back before you got the disease. Thank you.